All right, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on discussing my new Emacs 10 horsepower uh, single phase compressor with the uh, silent air technology. So this has, these are actually the intake tubes and basically an air box and a filter over here to try to make it more quiet than standard. Here's like a standard air filter on my old, this is the Ingersoll Rand with the SS5 L5 pump. So this is capable of 19 CFM at 90 PSI, which is just enough to run one of my vapor blast machines at a time. And I needed something a little bit bigger, number one, because I wanted to have the capability of running two vapor blast machines at once, or I was getting my new vapor blast cabinet right over here. And this thing is huge, 40 by 40 by 40 inside workspace. And it is just huge. Uh, so this, they say you need a minimum of, um, what is it? A seven and a half horsepower compressor. So I already knew I needed to upgrade anyway. And most likely I won't be running this at the same time as something else, you know, if I need it. I still have two other vapor blast cabinets. So yeah, that was, that was one of the new additions here and uh, really happy with it so far. I actually only got to use this thing a handful of times so far. We got some transmissions that I'll be doing in there, but all right, back to the compressors. I'm going to run both of them so you can hear the sound difference. I was always concerned about getting a compressor that has twice as much horsepower, assuming it would possibly be twice as loud. And I don't want anything rumbling the shop. This thing kind of rumbles. Overall, for one of the compressors, I'm not saying anything bad about it. I think it's pretty good and quiet. Uh, only noticing that it was pretty loud after getting this. Really happy with it. So let me just run it. I don't think it has. I think I'll have to run some of the air out. So let me just drain some air. This is kind of a temporary setup too. Regulator. And we got a water uh, separator here and just all our hoses. This is kind of just temporary till I get everything's set up so i'll uh drain some air turn this thing on let you hear the difference or while this is actually yeah you know what let me drain some of this stuff out uh let's see right. sound check that's the me trying to talk over the sound of the air coming out of here so once this kicks on i'll cut the air off Alright, so it's on and running. Really not bad at all. I mean, you could definitely hear the sound of this over it. You could talk right next to it. You don't have to yell. And I'm going right by the intake here. Really not bad. If I walk in the other room, Shut the door, it's pretty quiet. And here's the other two vapor blast cabinets. So I'll go back out there. All right, so I'm gonna run this one now. All right, I'll wait for this to, that air noise to go away. All right, hopefully you can hear the difference. Trying to talk, you kind of have to talk a little bit louder. It's um, definitely a little annoying if you're trying to talk right next to it. I definitely don't like to go, I don't even bother trying to talk next to this cabinet or next to this compressor. So I'll go in the other room real quick. You can still hear it through the wall here. Can hear the other one too, but this is definitely, you notice it a lot more. this one again real quick
one than the other, right? Not bad. This one you could definitely hear me when I'm talking. This one is, you have to talk a lot louder, so. All right, and now we'll talk about what this is capable of. So this was 19 CFM at 90 PSI, and this one I think is 39 CFM at around 90 PSI. So uh, twice as much CFM capable of running two machines. We did run two machines at once. Um, so the only thing that is not up to par again is probably this regulator. This is from Harbor Freight. Again, it was just temporary, something I didn't have to order. And it only lasted about, I say it's temporary, but we used it for about a month. Uh, running two machines at once for about three hours we were doing and th this thing just started humming. I don't think it could keep up with all the CFM flowing through here. It just got super hot and started vibrating like crazy so uh and there is like a it's like a five dollar warranty so i just threw another one on until i figure out i probably got to put like an air dryer system back here and some sort of manifold uh also to help the water getting out but i don't really have to worry about water too much in my lines because they're mostly all going to wet blast cabinets yeah these are dry blast cabinets but um not really you know, I don't really get too much water in here. Plus, I'm going to put another water separator before this thing. So, um, yeah, other than that, nothing bad to say about this. Again, 10 horsepower, silent air. Definitely get the silent air intake. Um, imagining that this would be pretty loud without it. So, uh, overall, definitely quieter than this, which is not what I was expecting. I just wanted it to be at least, you know, not louder. And I would have been totally happy with it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Um, definitely would have helped me when I was looking to buy it. I was very nervous, you know, ordering a, you know, about $5,000 compressor and, you know, hoping that it was just not any louder or anything like that. So, um, again, this, uh, let's see if we get a model number or anything here. I don't know. Emacs, 10 horsepower, single phase. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That is the setup. Um, we are able to run both at once if we wanted to of compressors, but there's no need with just this one. And we are running one, two, three, four, five machines hooked up to this one 10 horsepower compressor. All right. Emacs definitely recommend it. Thanks.